Oftentimes when we think about prostitution, sex work, trafficking, those voices don't come to the center. And one of my goals is to learn with them and learn from them about these problems because they would identify these as problems just as I do, but they have solutions that perhaps I wouldn't think of. And I'm interested in looking at how language affects the material conditions of people's lives. So how does it actually affect how they live, how they're understood in the world? And when you think about prostitution, we have a lot of beliefs that go about prostitution. And so one of my goals is to actually talk to the women themselves, doesn't matter what area it is, and to put their expertise front and center and say, how can we all learn from each other? How can they learn from me as a researcher and how can I learn from them based on their expertise about their lives? So how do they talk about these things? And I had very specific questions about criminalization, police, violence. And so they talk about these issues. So it gives us a good understanding of how they live, what they're dealing with, but they, it also reflects how we, as perhaps people that aren't living in that world, understand that world. We have a lot to teach each other, and they are super amazing, strong, powerful women, and they know their lives. They know who they are. They're experts on the issues. And I'm also looking at women who are incarcerated. I'm currently working with the Red Tent Project, which is an arts-based healing program that goes into the Pinellas County Jail. And we are gonna be doing focus groups where we actually ask questions about violence, incarceration, and recidivism. So what is the role between violence, trauma, incarceration, and re recidivism? And they're actually gonna help me come up with the research questions. Now what this does is it not only makes them more invested in the process because they're contributing, I'm not an outside researcher coming in and saying, this is what I think we need to study. They're helping to come up with it, but they're also looking at the goal. What is the goal of this research? And how can we share this knowledge with larger communities? Whether that be the jail, the prison system, the community, and obviously academia, the scholarly world. What the WLP award does is one, it says it values that research, which I think is really important and I'm very, very grateful for. But secondly, the money is actually gonna be going to get bus passes for people who are in the red tent. They're gonna be um, gift cards for people who participate in the research, whether it be in the focus groups or interviews. Um, so that is very tangible in terms of those, these women have needs, they have a lot of needs. And this provides tangible needs. And it also says, we value you. We're not just asking you to tell us your stories for, because of all your free time that you have or your expertise. I value what you say and I wanna compensate you for that. And that's really important. I get to be honored with this tremendous award, but I know that what I'm doing in the world and bringing this money forward to the other women, it just be, creates more of a larger community, which I think is really important. And I'm really thrilled that sometimes I worry that my work is not as pretty as other types of work, and I'm really thrilled that I was chosen as the um, recipient for this award.